She's got a fire going. Oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> You know, you don't know who your friends are going to be, you know? It's like, you're going to go years without making a new friend, you know? And, and you don't know which one of your friends are going to fall away. And... Seven in numerology means different than seven in Enneagram. Seven in Enneagram is party animal and stuff, but in... In uh, numerology, it actually is a, it's a kind of a ascetic. Yours was a 16-7, and hers is a 15-6, so. If I put those things, if I was to put those numbers together, the 15 and the 16, <clears throat> and the six and the seven, that together, you guys, if you have the constructive thinking, the five, the independent self, and the service to others, then what you're going to get is a, a work that has the asceticism that you want and the healing that you want. Like you two could do that together. Six and seven makes 13 and a four, so to tell the story more, it's that, yeah, independence, Creative expression, three, is creative joy. If you guys do that together, you're going to end up with the thing that you want, yes. which is the foundation. I started, I mean, I began writing when I was a kid. And I was writing to break silence. I think in growing up, our feelings were very simplified. You were either quiet or loud. So writing was kind of a quiet way to be noisy. I could get things in order, things out of chaos. But I was left-handed, and then they made me be right-handed. And so, you know, I couldn't even read my writing for a long time. And... Uh, Yeah, and then it was kind of smallish and backwards, and it's like I was trying to find a crack into something, into some other world. Uh, it was a long time ago. It's strange trying to remember that all all those beings that we all go through, you know, they're all us and they're all gone. You know. I mean, think of yourself at six. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like it was the same skin. Apparently it isn't. I mean, a lot of it is documented in the songs, just yeah. in little phrases. You, uh, you get a sense that there was poverty and isolation, and there was. It all looked sort of normal. I mean, I went to school and everything, but it just wasn't normal. You know, you I mean, I wanted to tell somebody because I was hurting, but then on the other hand, you don't want to tell anybody because you know darn well, you know. It'll be worse when you well, get home. Uh, no, and that is just not happening for them. So then you'll be on the outside again, you know. I, I sort of would sort of check it out and look at other kids, and they didn't look like they were being plowed every night, you know. And so I felt pretty different from that. And... You know, just kind of like the innuendos and the, the sexual chaos inside of my family. I, I, I kind of got a feeling that wasn't normal either, you know. So you're just sort of living. I was living on eggshells from, you know, like we just had our 40th uh, reunion at high school. At Yeah, high school. I couldn't make it, but... Somebody wrote to me and said, you know, you just seemed so sad. And it was like, sad. I mean, it was completely deliriously lost, you know, and sad. I was very sad. I mean, I was hurting all the time, but 
But I don't really want to talk back about bad about those people. I think it was their war being played out on my body. You know. Well, there was always this temptation, I think, in my stepfather that he could he could have me and it really wouldn't be against the law. You know, because I wasn't his was kid. My daddy is your dad. You know, it's the culture, right? The culture funnels people into these hellish situations, and then everybody has to live it out, be it war or a violent marriage or poverty or, you know, locked up in an insane asylum, you know, because you have feelings. And it was horrible for me. That's what it was. It was horrible, and it was also, you know, the moth that turns into the butterfly or whatever. It's like, it's where all the song, it's, it, that pain made was like a, it was like a clamshell that made a oyster, I mean, that made a pearl. All that sand gritting, 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 all that pain gritting, 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 you know, it did, it, 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 it gave me, it made my life. That's all I can say. He just had to give me something I'd forever understand As a girl On a road But I could sing And I sing rain upon the water Makes footprints sunk in sand Anger upon angry hurt Take me by the hand